So hello, welcome back to Give My Days Coins and Banknotes, and my name is Glenn, and today we are looking at the new UK pound banknotes that have been issued from the 5th of June. So these are in circulation now, although they're probably not very common. You could go and ask them at your bank, oh, I'm not too sure. If it's anything like it happened in Australia and Hong Kong, they didn't become quite common until like a year after they were issued the first uh, 2019 the 20, yeah the $20 banknote when I first went to go and get it uh, they're like oh we don't have them and it took at least half the at least three or four months before I actually saw one okay so these are the portraits of King George no, King, King Charles III, not King George. And these banknotes are the same as the previous banknotes. So this is the Bank of England who issues the notes. And if you want to go banknotes, you go current banknotes. And I'll show you the two types of banknotes you can find in the United Kingdom. And you realize that the design's the same. Uh, also, the backs hasn't changed. It's just a portrait that has changed. So, and I'm not too sure if the UK is going to demonetize the older banknotes. All the paper ones have been demonetized. But the plastic ones are probably keeping in circulation. Maybe that's a change. So it's a bit like Papua New Guinea demonetized all the paper banknotes, kept all the plastic ones in as a legal tender. So you can see the Queen Elizabeth II, Charles III, and all, they've also changed uh, the actual uh, little, uh, I can't remember. See, this is what happens with dementia. Just forget about it. Okay, and the watermark, they've just changed it for Queen Elizabeth II, Charles III. But everything else is the same. So the building's the same. Uh, the back is the same. It says Winston Churchill. and not too sure if these started again in this sequence. Usually they do when they actually. So this is actually a new banknote. Okay, so uh, you got a flicker. You got better pictures of the actual banknotes. Uh, we have a lot of ten pound banknotes in. So this is just after they've been cut and they've been bundled and they're going to be. So this is one sheet. So how many banknotes we've got? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So six by nine. I don't know maths, so so please tell me when it's fifty-four. Uh yeah. Ten times six is sixty. Take away six, fifty-four. Okay, so there's fifty-four per banknote. Probably all this, the the numbers are the same. They probably just changed the lettering. Well, that's what they do in Australia. So that's my that's what I think anyway. They just change the lettering once all the numbers are run out. And here we have more of them. I know there's a sheet of five pounds, and obviously they use that to check to see if there's any problem with the printing. And here's how they bundle them. And this is I'm not too sure. Might be just checking each bank note. Okay. And got Numister. They have the specimens on there. So if you get and also each page on Numister, real interesting. But what you can do is you can go down, look at the signatures, and also put it on your wish. Or don't want list. Sometimes they have advertisement here to actually purchase them. Okay, so if you go to eBay, these are all over eBay. I don't know why Singapore is in there. But, uh, but obviously, this one is for 15, so 300 pounds worth. We're trying to flog it off, which is 1,200. Oh no, no, $600. We're trying to flog it off for double the price. 
This one is trying to flog. I hope that's not a single bank note. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Yeah, it looks like. Yeah, you're trying to flog off a single bank note. Or, so this is a FOMO, fear of missing out or hype. These are common bank notes. They're going to be pretty common in a year time. So don't even buy for that. You know, buy for fifteen to twenty dollars. Yeah, that's okay. But in the UK, I wouldn't pay more than five pounds for one of these. So this is what I mean. Don't fall for this. No, this one is should be worth forty dollars, twenty pound. I wouldn't pay that much. No. Okay, so. If you want to get a set of these, I would try and source them from a better deal. Obviously, these are not good deals. Yeah, obviously, they got to make some money. If they're in the UK, they get these for face value. Uh, so, you know, if you're paying like $20 for a £5 note or £10, in the, U in the UK, you shouldn't be able to. You shouldn't really need to do that. Overseas, yes. Then I reckon that's fine. Uh, for me, more than that is definitely a rip off. You're not going to make your money back anyway. Okay, yeah. So this one is a little bit over face value. Postage, yeah, well, that's just normal registered post from the UK. That's a lot of charge for Australia. Yeah, $60, $40 exchange rate. These are more reasonable values. So. Not that one. I'm talking about the 20 and the 10. Then you've got 50. This is equivalent to 100 Australian dollars. Uh, yeah, 190. That's what they're charging. Uh, just remember, eBay does take 15%. So they need at least $115 just to break even. So, and people are not going to sell this for chump change. Don't expect them to uh, give it to you for face value or less. Oh yes, and these are starting at AA, it looks like. So a new sequence of serial numbers. So then you can find any test notes, any first or last prefix. Obviously, first prefix is going to have a million, 10 million, 100 million banknotes. So not really worth collecting. Maybe a last prefix, which obviously is not been run yet. Okay. Yeah, so that's good for that one. Now here we have a set. Probably a bit too high for me. No, this one's all right. Oh, it's bidding no. 36. No, so just don't buy this stuff. It's just way too hard. People are just trying to get money out of um, uh, those that just don't know better. Okay, this one's 200 bucks. So 100, 140, 160, 170. Yeah, so this one's, to me, that's okay. 170, they want two. They're going to struggle to break even with that. Okay, yep. So that's basically, they're all over eBay. So th these are not going to be hard to get. Not going to be scarce. I wouldn't be paying $10,000 for one. Ah, oh, let's have a look. Highest price. Let's see. Okay. If we go here. Price, highest. Let's see if, who, who's actually trying to scam people over there. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so there's a new tab. Yeah, that, that's funny. Ha 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 ha. I wouldn't buy from them. Don't know why they've got 100% positive. Oh, this is, I'm surprised it's only 500. Oh, um, uh, this one, yeah, it seems to be the highest. I wouldn't buy that. Another thing you can see is that UK banknotes, they differ in size. So the smallest is a £5, the largest is a £50. The UK can probably issue a £100 banknote. 
located in Scotland, I don't think Northern Ireland, you can see here. So, probably 2250 for a set like that is okay. But as you can see, they're just relatively common. So if you're in the UK, just ask to get one of these banknotes. If you're not in the UK, for me, probably double face value is an okay price to pay. That's excluding postage. I reckon if you get to go below that, you probably, um, yeah, I just wouldn't bother trading with you. Anyway, thank you and have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time.